What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, uh, we basically did Bowser's Dark Matter plant and uh, finished all of the uh, basement. In this part, uh, we could technically go to the last stage in the game right off the bat because we have the right amount of stars. We're not going to do that just yet. We're going to tackle... I want to wait to tackle all the remaining galaxies before we go to the last level because that's kind of the way I like to play this game. But uh, anyway, so we basically go all the way up here. I think I showed this off in the last part. Yeah, I did. So yeah, we're in the engine room. So uh, yeah, and uh, I think what we're going to do now is uh, tackle... Uh, Ooh, which galaxy should I tackle? Um, we'll do this one, actually. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's the Gold Leaf Galaxy. So, uh, yeah, so this is another one of those, uh, worlds, essentially, we get to be B Luigi once again. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty... I do like the B suit, let's just say. The B suit doesn't really have, like, the best of up. I'll say there's one suit in this game that's worse in this game than the B suit, but, uh... The B suit is fine. Just everyone relax about the B suit. I just had to turn up my mic volume right there, but uh, it also plays the same music from Honey Hive Galaxy. Now, um, I always like this. Uh, I always like to kind of think of this as the spiritual successor of Honey Hive Galaxy, and also there's an L out of Star Bits. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, we're also using Luigi. So, uh, let's talk to him. I'm looking for blue star chips for my brothers, but we haven't found any. So yeah, we have to get we have to get blue star chips. So uh we're not B Luigi's, so we're gonna just kill these assholes right here. So uh I am trying uh my uh, not my CRT monitor, I have that shut off and I have the my HGTV that I have hung up on the wall. I'm not seeing if that's any difference because uh I've been dealing with problems with the CRT monitor going on. I might need to replace my uh AV to H my HDMI to AV adapter that I used to uh for the setup, but uh anyway, enough about my setup, but um I can just backflip up there because I'm Luigi. So, uh. Okay, there's a. Yeah, I think we want to go up there anyway. Get some star bits. Hold on, um. Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot move my sensor. So, uh. Yeah, it's a little different plane on this screen because it's above. So, uh. It's, a little, it's gonna take a little bit of an adjustment, but, uh. If I don't like the setup either way, I'm just gonna go back to the CRT monitor, but uh Anyway, so uh I'm trying now I'm not I don't always have the best time remembering where all these star chips are. I think uh the fourth one's up here. And we can make a lot of easier jumps with Luigi, so uh Yeah, there's the fourth one. I think the fifth one but we'll let's avoid a death, so I think the fifth one is uh around here somewhere it's uh i think i know where it is i come i take it back and uh we have to take this little flower right here and uh yeah it takes us all the way up here and we get the b suit once again but uh i think it's around here somewhere we get the i think it is around here we get that fifth blue chip yeah it is over here so uh Oh yeah, appropriate timing too, because I think the game's not intending to get that one last either way. But um, oh yeah, we don't have to fall to the ground. Yes, and again, more bunny chasing. Think you catch me, boing? Now, uh, again, it's bunny chasing, so it's a lot easier, with Luigi. Now, if you go, if you get this bunny in the water, it'll slow him down. So. You kind of want to lure him into the water, see if you can kind of slow him down that way. But, um... I think there's also a switch where, uh... Yeah, if we, if we get the switch right here, it'll kind of get the... If we if we get to use the water, we can kind of slow the bunny down, and, uh... We already caught him! Boing! You got me alright, then take the star! thought about this also but i don't think i think galaxies are gonna make uh are gonna start to be one parters going forward and uh, uh basically uh and on top of that uh we're, we're basically gonna make these uh parts longer which uh 
I don't really like, uh, I think this, I've kind of slowed down the progress. This play through guy carrying the galaxies in two parts. So, uh, we'll try to see if we can make these galaxies one parters. So, uh, to make this a little bit easier. Anyway, so we're going to go to Gold Leaf Galaxy and uh, star number two in Gold Leaf Galaxy. I think there's also a secret star in this uh, world. We can also get it in the star one, but um. anyway, so star number two is uh, yeah, we're just, uh, sorry, just taking a sip of water there. I actually have an ice. Believe it or not, like um, the past couple of years, I've taken like my uh, my, my eating habits like really seriously. Like, I've never I've historically never had the best diet, but like um. I've kind of changed that the past year or two. I drink several ice cold iced waters a day. And uh, when you're making content, you're definitely like, uh, it also helps when you're making content because like uh, it, it'll allow you to speak for longer periods of time. That's why I can stream and record more videos. So I don't know, it's like, uh, cause so you get these like, you get these singers like Vince Neil and Motley Crue that never took care of himself, did a hell of a lot of like cocaine and all that. And they're like, uh, and then you look up videos of him on YouTube. They're just countless clips of how mocking how bad he is. But anyway, enough enough rambling about washed up singers. Now, um, this is where we get the. Uh, that's actually where we get. I think around here is where we get that uh, secret star. So I'll get it after this st star is done. But anyway, these are the cataquacks. They're just as annoying in this game. Well, they don't damage you like they do in Martha. Sunshine, so I think in Mario Sunshine. I don't know. It's been a while since I played Mario Sunshine. Like, I don't think I've played Mario Sunshine like five years, going on five years now. But all I know about Sunshine is that the Cataclysm do damage you. This is where we actually have to go. Anyway, so let's get the, uh, Darvis. I don't think we're going to get 50, but, uh, we should almost have be at 50. Uh, I don't think Gold Leaf Galaxy also takes as long as Prior Worlds, um. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a one-up right here. And we're, uh, we're out of, we're out of a one-up. Or we have a one-up, actually. No, I want to, I want to kill the damn Wiggler. No! There we go. Kill the damn Wiggler. Anyway. I think we actually have to lure a uh, Cataquack. Yeah, we have to lure this Cataquack and uh, get this out of the way also. Mm, get some get the star bits too. Oh yeah, let, let's, lure, let's lure the Cataquack. And we got... Uh, it, the only problem is that it does take a while to lure the Cataquack, and we actually went the wrong way, so... Get out of my way. Alright. No, I don't want to get... Stop launching me in the fuck... Oh, okay. Thank God they don't damage you like they do in Sunshine. I think it's only the red Cataquacks in Sunshine that damage you. Which is why the fucking watermelon stage in that game is so annoying. Don't expect a sunshine playthrough anytime soon. I've beaten it before 100%, but I just don't like beating it 100%. Anyway, so, uh, now we got that out of our system. I think we have to, we have to find a way to get up to the star. We need the bee suit, so we need to find someone that has a bee suit. And let's kill these guys. Okay, okay, I don't know why. Hey! Excuse me! Die! And give me the coin. Thank you. Die. Alright. We want to actually get this fucker out of the way. Actually, we need the bee suit. So, uh, that's why. We're, I think they offer it around here. Yeah, they offer, that's where they offer the bee suit. Come on. Get me up to the bee suit. Alright, there we go. I almost didn't even get it, but, uh, lure the Cataquack. There we go. I think if you get the coins also, they give you more fly meter, so, uh, yeah, it's a nice feature they added. Well, it's not really necessary, but, uh, it'll allow you to be up in the air longer, so it can make more jumps like that. 
Also, be careful. These fly enemies, I didn't elaborate this much earlier. If they hit you, you actually lose the bee suit. So just be careful with that. Anyway, so we only got three more stars left in uh, Gold Dust Galaxy. So uh, I guess we're going to tackle the uh, secret star. So uh, you can get it in a uh, star two. So uh, I'm going to have to do some uh, editing right now. Yeah, we're we're definitely like uh, two thirds of the way through this game, so uh, that's really solid. So uh, we're making we're making a lot of we've made a lot of progress, and honestly, I'm gonna speed up the process of ending this playthrough by making these galaxies one videos. Now, uh, I'm gonna cut until we're at the uh, star number two uh, secret. I'll see you guys in a second. Transition incoming. Anyway, so now we're actually where we want to be and not taking unnecessary death. We want the bee suit. And uh, we kind of want to be over here. If I remember correctly, we want to be over here. And uh, actually, we don't, we don't even need the bee suit. But uh, yeah, we want to go up here and uh, ring this bell and get the musical notes. Notice how this music sounds familiar? It's the underwater music from Mario 1. And if you get all that, you get a star. So, uh, yeah, that was the secret star. And, uh, a very quick start again. I thought I'd get it out of the way. I mean, this is going to be an easy galaxy to do in one video. But, uh, I will say the galaxy after this really sucks. And on top of that, uh, the galaxy after the next galaxy is really awesome. So, uh, yeah, just uh, keep be wary of that. But, uh, we have two more galaxy, we have two more stars left and, uh, gold leaf galaxy. So, uh, either we, uh, either the cosmic comics can appear after this, or I'm gonna have to force it to appear. So, if I know whether there's editing or not, that's gonna be the case. When it rains, it pours the uh, third star in gold leaf galaxy. So yeah, there's gonna be rain, which will make you lose the beast. So I think this will actually this is actually the one that triggers the uh cosmic comet, so. Let's get our uh let's get our uh, star Wars right here. I can't move the camera on the so the spot. It's like the cat it's like the opening like cat it's like the like first room in the castle Mars before you can't open the camera unless you do some weird glitch. You have to kind of clip through the stairs. That's the only way you can open the camera. Like, I was... That blew my mind when I found that out. Like, you can uh, open the cam... You can move the camera in the uh, first room in Peach's Castle Mario 64 if you do some... If you clip through the stairs. Like, I didn't... Like, some of that stuff. Like, uh, I'd say the... First Mario 64 glitch I ever figured out how to do was a BLJ. I'm not really always good at Mario 64 glitches. Like, I can do, um, I'm not very good at cannon lists. I can only really do that like 50% of the time. I, uh, cannot do bob on clip. And, uh, I get, I'm very basic when it comes to Mario 64 glitches. I can do MIPS clip. I can do that one. But, uh, so I've done 16 star runs before. But, uh. But am I talking about Galaxy or 64? I can actually get up there. Yeah, I can. Good. Alright, so uh, avoid the rain, because if you get caught in the rain, you lose the bee suit, so... Oh, shit, no. Oh, yeah, we lost the bee suit. We could, Actually, can we make that jump? I think we can. I'm gonna try it once. Yeah, it's it, you need a specific timing for that one, but uh, I think you can make that jump as Luigi. You can't as Mario though. When we get to a later star in this game, uh, we're gonna have to make a jump like that. Anyway, more star bits. Oh, don't get caught in the rain. 
Don't love uh, Pina Coladas. In I actually really despise that song. And I actually have a fun story with that song. Uh, so the actual song, the Escape the Pina Colada song, is actually about someone who wants to, someone who cheats on his wife because he's an asshole and bored and all that. And then basically, uh, basically, uh, she in turn cheats on him because she puts up the ad, look for a guy like Pina Coladas, and that's how they discover each other once again. It's a really stupid concept for a song, but like, there was this guy in high school that was in my high school that was like not the brightest when it came to like subject matter. And he, he was, I was in an after school program and he was in detention singing that song. And I just went up to him and I was like, you know what that song's about, right? He had like no clue. But anyway, this guy, this boss, you basically got to, uh, you basically got to break the glass then. And eventually he's going to get pissed and any of those bubbles will make you lose your B suit. So be careful. But anyway, what we actually want to do is, uh, we don't, we can't get the B suit against. We have to fight, do this fight the normal way. If you have the B suit, you can flat out cheat this boss, but, uh. Oh yeah, there we go. He's dead. Anyway, so I either we get the cosmic count to appear or I have to force it to appear, so Alrighty, so I had to force the cosmic comet to appear to appear. So uh yeah, uh we're facing cosmic Luigi once again. So much like Honey Hive Galaxy, uh there's gonna be I think two more cosmic Luigi one more cosmic Luigi race after this. It's actually, believe it or not, in the very next galaxy. So uh this is the Cosmic Luigi Forest race, so, uh, yeah. There's gonna be, uh, one more Cosmic Luigi race after this, so this is the second last one. And again, I would honestly suggest get the head start, as part of see if you can get the head start. Anyway. So, yeah, uh... I haven't had the best luck with Cosmic Luigi races, so I'm gonna keep my mouth. I'm gonna kind of keep my mouth shut while doing this. And I, I failed the, I failed the, I failed the uh, timing uh, go, to get the head start. But uh, oh, fuck. Oh shit. Oh yeah, he's gonna beat us. Yeah, if you, Cosmic Luigi, when you're facing him, it's like, uh, if you do not, if you, uh, and he's gonna make long jumps like that, so, um, if you, if you don't, um, what am I trying to say? Hold on. Yeah, if you don't, ha if you don't get a head start, you're gonna have a harder time beating Cosmic Luigi, because he makes a lot of tricks that Cosmic, I don't think Cosmic Mario makes that long jump as an example. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so we're going to cut it off with this part of Super Luigi Galaxy. So, uh, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, uh, once I open this, we're going to do the Sea Slide Galaxy. See you guys then.